Okay, in case you've been living in a dark hole somewhere and completely missed this week's market action, here's what happened with the Dow. Up, 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 and away it went. On Tuesday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average trumped its 2007 record with a new high. And then on Wednesday, yet another record being broken. Thursday, another. And well, what do you know today? Another. So in light of this week's continual record breaking, we're asking the pros to pick their favorite Dow stock. Bloomberg's Julie Hyman with the history of all the lessons we can learn from Dow best performers. Kevin Karen with the fundamental pick and Dan Deming <coughs> with your options trade. Okay, so Julie, first over to you. What do you think investors need to know as they start going stock shopping right now? Well, you want to look at what has done well during the rally thus far that we have seen in the Dow. A little bit of history might help for context, for example. So you can look at the Dow's biggest movers since October 9th, 2007. That was the previous peak in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So these are the stocks that many of them went down along with the Dow and then came right back up again. So Home Depot up 111 percent, IBM up 78 percent, McDonald's up 72 percent. So these are stocks that have had a strong run already. You also probably want to look at well, what's done worse since that time? What has lagged? Alcoa, Bank of America, really interesting that it's still down 77% because this is a stock that has come back so dramatically, and a lot of investors have gotten back into it. And Hewlett Packard, as we know, still plagued by issues, still down 60% since the Dow's previous high. Now let's look at the stocks that have done best since the lows. And these numbers, as you might imagine, are more dramatic because they're comebacks from that low, the depths of the Dow on March 2000, March 9, 2009. So American Express has been the outperformer by far up 500 percent. Home Depot also on this list. And finally, Caterpillar also. So definitely at least part of the story here is the comeback in housing, the comeback in industrials and manufacturing. And then finally, just want to note here that we have had some stocks that have been added to the Dow and removed from the Dow. So Chevron, Bank of America, Kraft, Travelers, Cisco, United Health Group, all of these have been added to the Dow. We've seen some companies go away from the Dow, all from Altria to AI to General Motors to Citigroup. So we've seen kind of a, a flipping here, Kraft Foods in its old iteration, a new iteration that's yeah. the cycle, uh, that we have seen there, Trish. But you can really see that there's some incredible opportunities for investors if they can get it right. Uh, Kevin, what do you think you're getting right right now? What's your number one pick? Walmart would be our number one pick in the Dow. Essentially, you've got an economy that it's expanding. You've got final demand that's working itself along quite nicely. The unemployment report again this morning showed that we're creating jobs. So you do have some demand out there. But the consumer is a vastly changed consumer from where we were several years ago. Very value conscious. Walmart, we think, are, is executing better. We think the stock is attractively valued where it is today in the mid-70s. We think it can trade into the mid-80s. Pays a very nice dividend relative to the S&P. And whatever comes down down the road, this is a consistent performer, very profitable, consistently profitable, good balance sheet, category killer. So I'd have to put that on my short list of go-to companies in the Dow. You don't think uh, you know consumers are going to go out and, and do a little bit more spending on things that, that wouldn't be in sort of that dollar store category, uh, given the jobs print that we saw today? Well, the dollar stores ha have had a tremendous opportunity. There's been a window of opportunity. I think uh, uh, Walmart was caught a little bit flat-footed, frankly. The smaller, more nimble providers of dollar tree, dollar uh, goods were able to move quickly, capture a big market opportunity, but that may be fading. I think Walmart's executing better, and now they're going to be in the catbird seat going after that kind of market share. I think it's a big opportunity okay. for Walmart. Kevin's saying buy Walmart. I know that uh, you're looking at a share price of what's your expectation? I, th I think the mid-80s is a very mid reasonable target. Okay. Dan Deming, uh, what All are you right. seeing in the options world right now? What do you like? Hey, hey, well, I tell you, Trish, the VIX pit and I would like to wish you a happy birthday. I know that... Uh, you know what, we... Dan Deming? Don't believe everything you read on the Internet. Oh, really? Was I set up for that <laughs> it's one? It's actually not my birthday, but that's okay. I'll take it one. anyway. All right, there you You're go. You're very sweet there to say go. that. There you go. <laughs> that's great. Anyway, all right. Uh, anyway, so basically, what they're, they got me. Uh, so what I... Oh, well... Well, first of all, wow. I want to point out, yeah, they got me. The first, what I'd like to point out is the fact that, um, uh, you know, moving through this market as we roll into uh, May, the one thing I look at is, uh, you know, we've seen this early sim similar kind of reaction in uh, 2010, 2011, 2012 in the market. So the old adage, sell in May and, and stay away, is I think it'll move forward 
uh, this time around as well. But I can tell you right now, when you look at strength in the market, the banks have been very strong. The pillar of the uh, Dow over the last six months, and Bank of America has been one of the prime performers. I think moving forward, in, at least in the short term, Bank of America has got further upside. The uh, stress test yesterday was pretty positive. And I think, uh, like I said, you get through 12 and a half, I think there's still up more upside. So I'm going to structure a trade where you can pay to, uh, buy the, two, the 12, 13 call spread and uh, in um, <coughs> April, and you can pay 35 cents for that. Uh, it's two, two for one risk reward ratio on that, and uh, I think there's still further upside for the next month and a half, but I want to be out in May. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I think it's a great idea, and uh, thank you to all your guys behind you with the there happy birthday me. signs. I am going to pretend it's my birthday. Hey, why not? Absolutely. <laughs> thanks Absolutely. so much, Dan Deming. That's great. And thanks to all the guys behind you. Good stuff. Here's your cheat sheet on the Dow favorites. Based on the fundamentals, Kevin Karen says buy Walmart. The stock is heading higher. Dan Deming, <coughs> our options trader, is buying Bank of America on positive stress test results. Uh, Julie walked you through the whole history, the upside that you could potentially get if you call this one right. Thanks to everyone for being here today.